and then Greenwich will go forward and is he onside? He is! He on the end with his chance for his first ever goal! First ever professional goal! And the U's have got three! Would you believe it? Celebrations all around and the U's fans, there's nearly 400 of them cascade down the gangways towards the pitch area trying to engulf as many coaches to United players as possible and right at the bottom of that scrum is Bradley Eon Vien and my word, what a sumptuous top-class finish onside broke into the penalty area and then just delicately lifted it over Jake Turner and the U's are heading towards their first win of the season and they've done it in emphatic style at a canter, Gillingham nil, Colchester United 3. Yeah, um, started at a local club um, in London where I used to live, Teviot. Um, played there for a, for a couple of years um, and then got scouted by Charlton and got in there. Um, and I was at Charlton for a few years after that as well before being released. And then from there it was just basically trying to fight to get up through the ranks. Obviously like like any other players and, and their journey, you know, you've had a couple of trials here and there. Had, um, had a Gillingham trial, had a Watford trial. Um, yeah, so they obviously didn't all go well. Um, and then I was at Maidstone for large periods, um, a large period of my time before joining here. Um, got some men's football at Hive, um, and I was at my school at PSA, but Maidstone was a large, um, well, was for a large period. And then I got my trial here. Um, had three trial games before I, before I, um, before I was offered. Um, first one was one of my worst performances I've ever had. Um, honestly, I, it's so, so bad. Um, and then luckily you have people who, I don't know what Dave saw in me at the time, but I'm grateful to him. Jack Fault put on a trial game at Frentford on a Friday afternoon, um, Talent ID which he was brilliant at, to be fair, Jack. And we've, we've had some players from, from them sort of um, occasions. Um, I went along, um, I picked out three lads in that game, um, to a centre-half, a left-back, and then, and then Bradley. Um, if I'm being really honest with you, I think out of them three, the best performers on the day were, or best performers on the day, sorry, were the centre-half and the left-back. Um, I didn't think Brad had a, had a great game, uh, but I did see his athleticism, his frame, his desire, um, not so much his ability on the ball, but I think we, it was something we could work, work with. Um, and then he came in literally the following, following week um, and trained with our 18s. And, and again, you could see everything that I just spoke about, his frame, his desire, his athleticism, and, and then his technical ability sort of grown as he got more comfortable in the group. Um, they saw something in me and then I got to the next trial game, did a bit better. Um, I'm pretty sure that might have been Avery scored a hat trick, and then had Sheffield United away as my first game for Colchester, first competitive game, and lost four 0 but it was alright. And then scored my first goal out there against Sheffield Wednesday, and then I was offered, um, which was up to, at that point one of the best days of my life because I started back in the football system again really good for my family and me. Um, and then, yeah, it was just about joining with the team and getting involved, um, getting into it, working hard. As Brad got more comfortable within the group, his ability grew and grew and grew. Um, and his technical ability then started coming to the forefront with his athleticism, with his, his desire and his frame. Um, I remember him playing in, in numerous trial games. I remember one at Averley where he was, he was excellent. Um, he was completely unplayable. And, Everybody was really excited about what he could do. Um, one thing I, I, I vividly remember was how hard he worked um, in his trial. And when we signed him, I remember saying to him and his dad that, that how hard you've worked there to get this, this contract, you've got to go again. And, and to be fair to him, he has. Um, there's, there's been a couple of times I've had to pull him and just say, look, come on, you're not... You're not. I always use the, 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 the sentence or the line with him about you, you're always on trial. So every day is a trial now, just because you've got your contract, nothing changes. And, and 
there's only been a couple of times I've had to pull him and say, do you remember you're still on trial even, even though you might be scoring for the first team, but you want your next deal and you want your next action and, and, and more starts, etc. Um, so, yeah, he, he then signed. Um, and then when he signed, we was actually in the FA Youth Cup run with our under-18 side. We just beat Arsenal. Um, we had Newcastle away. And I remember, I remember seeing him in that at St James's Park in that setup. Um, completely overawed by it really it, not not just in the game but actually just looking around the stadium and um, and I think it was a big moment for him because he hadn't been in a professional club until till we signed him um, and then we had Hartley Paul away in, in the first team um, we wanted to take some take some young lads with us Che Cooper Carl Bennett and then obviously Bradley Beer won and he came on for around 15 minutes towards the end of the game and and he was good. He was, he was good. He, again, I think the occasion was probably a bit much for him at the time. And I think he'd probably say that as well. But it, it really gave him that grounding of this is where you could be if you continue working this hard. We, me and Khan did very well that season. I think Khan got 40 something goals and I wasn't, I was just a bit far behind, but I thought, I thought I did well that season as well. Um, going to and from school as well. So it was a bit tough because I was training twice a week with the boys and then um, in the nights with the 16s so and that was tough but then ended up getting my debut at the end of the first season here which was which was good again thanks to Dave, Jack, Liam um, and Wayne Brown the gaffer at the time for for the recognition um, and then I had my second season here predominantly 21s football I had a loan spell more than um, and then came back in 21s scored about I think it was 20, 20 goals scored that season when I came back in from Jan. Um, 19th man against Dayton Orient. That was my only first team um, interaction that last season. Um, but it's still a good season. And then this season I've um, broken through um, thanks to all the people involved, in Ghana and, and everyone you know, um, for the work they've done with me. Um, and it's, it's been a good season so far, obviously um, scoring my debut goal, getting my full professional debut, I mean, not debut goal, scoring my first goal and my full professional debut um, and obviously just fully breaking in now, being in the changing room, being in and around it closest to the boys and thank you to all of them as well because they've they made me feel very welcome, so yeah, it's been good. After the Hartlepool game, yeah, then starting the next season, he started with the 21s, he scored bags of goals in the 18s, um, and, then, and then really started impacting 21s games. Um, again, not just with his phys physicality, but actually his technical ability when linking, and, and more than anything with his finishing techniques. Um, and again, that's something that, fair play to him, we've worked with him loads on, um, 1v1 situations and and finishing different types of finishes, not just clean ones that he's good at, but actually like reacting to things in the box. Um, and that grew, grew and grew and grew. And again, like I said to you at the very start, he's, he's worked so hard and, and constantly wants to improve. I mean, even now I sit down and do his clips with him and so do the other coaches. I know Nicky and Danny have been brilliant with him in terms of continuing that development. Um, and then it, it got to the point where he started knocking on the first team door. Um, and that, that was really exciting to see because we knew what ability he had. He'd showed us in the 18s, he'd showed us in the 23s to actually see that come out on the first team pitch. And I was, I was lucky enough to be part of the, part of the staff at Gillingham away um, when he goes on and, and, and scores the goal. Um, that probably sticks in my mind more than any other goal that he scored for us um, just because of his celebration and how much passion come out in that. I remember doing his clips with him that after that game and seeing his dad celebrating in the away end and nearly falling onto the pitch. And I think that meant a lot to him as he did the football club at the time because it was a great result. Um, and then I think the key bit has been managing him, his expectations. Obviously, he's had some real highs, i.e. the, the Hartlepool when he made his debut, Gillingham away when he, he, he scored that excellent goal um, and scoring five goals for the first team this season from, from where he was last season where he was just trying to break in. Um, so I think there's, there's a lot more to come from Brad and that's the really exciting bit. Keeping his feet on the floor is going to be it's something that, that I'm, going to try and, I'm going to try and help with. Um, he's got a really supportive family as well, which will really help him. Um, but real exciting times. I don't think anybody's journey is easy. Um, so yeah, I have had a, a lot of ups and downs, but um, 
it's always good to come out the other side of it and five goals to the first team is, 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 has been good this season. Obviously, get four in the league is, is really good. Happy to be, be able to contribute. Um, it's been a great journey. Um, and like I said before, thank you to everybody involved for, for getting me here so far and hopefully there's more to come. And Hunt, it's probably going to be a difficult question, but if you had to pick just one thing, which is the most exciting thing about Brad, what would it be, do you think? I think we we get a lot of players at, at Colchester and I think League Two, even League One to a certain extent, um, where they're either really good physically um, but maybe struggle technically or really good technically but maybe struggle physically or really good at both but professionalism isn't great or there's always something. I think the thing that really excites me with Brad is the fact that he's, he's really athletic He's, he's, he's got a good attitude in terms of he wants to improve all the time and technically I think he's good as well and I'm not saying he's excellent at all three of them because that, that I don't think he would be if he was excellent at all three of them but I think he's got good um, base levels in all three of them and that excites me because if he can combine all three and be good at all three consistently then I think that, that excites me and puts him in real good stead going forward to play at, at our level first and foremost and be successful for us but then who knows after that. And now looking ahead to next season, I suppose your main aim will be to, to consistently be in and around the first team and, and scoring even more goals. 100% the aim now is to be a permanent star. Um, I've come in this season, I've been coming off the bench predominantly every game, um, apart from Harrogate and MK Dons. I've been coming off the bench and next season the aim is to be starting all those games and um, play all of them, score, score a lot of goals and get, get the club up the Football League.